everyone back with uh, Psalms 109 and it says help me O Lord my God to the choir master Psalm of David be not silent O God in my, or of my praise for wicked and deceitful mouths are open against me speaking against me with lying tongues so at this moment in Psalms verses 1 through 2 I'm read, that, read it one more time it says be not silent O God of my praise for wicked and deceitful mouths are 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 open against me. So he has these people who who are attacking him, you know, um with with words of course, uh, who are um who are making up lies against David, um, who are speaking against him with with their lying tongues. You know, there 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 are these liars that keep, you know, blasting David with lies. <clears throat> and David's just saying, God, please let them stop or just wow them completely out because he's getting tired of these people attacking him with their words and lying to him about stuff. And, um, man, that goes on today also. You got people who even got these, well, I, I call them false Christians because they're not truly saved because they're truly saved. You don't go around and, and spread lies about people um, with your lying tongue. And, um, and have and be deceitful. That's not that's not a Christian. A Christian hates that. A Christian hates lies and hates deceitful mouths. Um, so I believe if you're doing that, you're not saved. Because if Christ wasn't done it, you should not do it either. So that's just plain and simple as that. But of course, you have people in the day in churches, and this goes back to a couple of chapters ago. I was talking about you know um, about a. Uh, gossiping and slander and all this and in churches that goes on today. The majority of churches today you have people who will act like they like you face to face but since you walk by by them they start, you know, talking behind your back. They start spreading lies, they start spreading, you know, deceit. Um, but yeah, they'll call themselves Christians because they go to church and do all that, but they're not just because they go to church that doesn't mean they're saved. I mean it's just common sense. Um that's like me, you know, pull my car and someone else's Garage saying that 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 house is mine when it's not, you know it's a lie. So um you know, but you had that day in churches. People will act like they're your they're they're your you know uh, that they're your friend face to face. But as you walk by them, they will spread lies. They will spread deceit deceit, uh, deceit um about you. Um, they will just you know they're not safe. And then they make the church look bad because of what they're doing. And then they expect God to bless them while they're doing that. God's not going to bless them. God's going to curse them for that. Um, so that goes on first of today. And um, you know, and people who, who are a lot that are hateful and are not saved because they were saved, they won't be doing that. They're false Christians. Um, you know, and of course, the number one thing today in churches that tears churches churches apart is of course gossip and slander. It tears churches apart. It makes people not want to go to church, you know. And and for that, those who are doing this stuff, those who are spreading lies and spreading deceit, God's wrath will be upon them. And um, they better repent of it and stop doing it. That's the main thing. Is just stop it. Repent of what you're doing. Ask God to forgive you, and He will. And just stop spreading lies and stop slandering people because you're making you're making yourself look bad. And you're making the church look bad. And God will not put up with that at all. God will wipe you out from this earth if he, if he has to, if you don't repent of that. So stop doing it. Because you're making churches look bad, and you're making yourself look bad. So just stop. Um, moving on. It says, They encircle me with words of hate, and cause on a day, and attack me without cause. So, so like, like I was just saying in verse 3, you know, um, David's saying, They encircle him with words of hate, so people hate David. And they attack him without cause. You know, they're attacking him without without any proof of what they're saying. They're just spreading lies, and they're making you know the, uh, they're making themselves look bad because David not David did not do this stuff, so they're making themselves look bad, and they're making the church look bad as well. You know, they're, I mean, it's just you don't do stuff like that. You don't go around churches spreading gospel about people, expect God to bless you, and God's gonna, God's gonna be your enemy if you continue doing that because you're making yourself look bad, you're, make, you're making the church look bad, and God will not put up with that. And there are many of you who are like that. So, you need to stop. Otherwise, God will come, will, God will come upon you with vengeance, and He will not let up. So, 
But there are many of you like that in these churches today who's, who, who gossip about people, who are slander about people, um, who are making the church look bad, and you're destroying the church. And and God will come upon you, and He will He will, He will pour out, He will pour out His wrath upon you if you do not repent of that. God hates God hates God hates slander and God hates gossip because He sees how it destroys churches today. He hates it. Um, it says, verse 4, In return for my love, they accuse me, but I give myself to prayer. So David's saying, you know, even though he loves these people who are accusing him of stuff, you know, he, he goes to the Lord about it in prayer. So, that, so they reward me evil for good and hatred for my love. So even though, he's, even though he's trying to love them, even though they're accusing him of stuff that he's not doing, they still hate him for it. Even though he's trying to love them, they still hate him. Appoint a wicked man against him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him come forth guilty. Let his prayer be, be counted as sin. May his days be few. May another take his office. May his children be fatherless, his wife a widow. It, well, so what David is saying here is, um, let's go back to verse 6. It says, The point of looking man against him, let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is, when he is tried, let him come forth guilty, let his prayer be counted as sin. David saying, you know, God, these people who are accusing me with lies and deceit, don't even listen to their prayers. Count their prayers as sin because they're so sinful that you can't, you can't trust what they're saying. Because <coughs> they're liars. Excuse me. <coughs> So the maze days be few, so David's just asking God to go ahead and, and pretty much, you know, kill this guy and let him be done with it. May another take his office. May his children be fatherless and his wife is, uh, his wife widow. May his children wander around and beg, seeking food far from the ruins they inhabit. May the creditor seize all that he has, may strangers plunder the fruits of his toil. So David's so fed up with this guy that keeps spreading, you know, lies and hate and deceit. He's saying, God, let his kids be fatherless. Let, let his wife be a widow. Uh, may, his may his children wander around begging for food. Um, he's saying, uh, may the creditor seize all that, all that the guy had. Uh, and then may strangers, you know, break into his house and, and plunder his house. I mean, David said it with this guy. He said, God, just, just be done with him. Lock him out. And may his, and may his family suffer for it. So that's, I mean, that's just... You can say that's harsh, whatever you want to say, but the truth is the truth, and it's right here in the Bible. I mean, David's had enough of this guy, who, whoever he is, or these people, whoever they are. He's had enough of them. Um, so this is verse 12. Let there be none to extend kindness to him. So David's saying, God, don't even show no kindness or love to him. Just, just be done with him. Nor, in, nor any to pity his fatherless children. So he's saying, oh, God, don't even let his children be loved. I mean... You know, he, he, David has had enough of this. Whoever this person is, or these people are, he's spreading slander and, and lies and deceit. David's saying, God, wipe him out and let his, let his family suffer for it. So, it's the honest truth. Verse 13. May his posterity be, uh, be cut off. May his name be blotted out in the second generation. But then, uh, may the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let's read that again, verse 14. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let, not, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. So David's saying that this guy's family, God just swapped them out also. Uh, you know, his father, his mother, God just swapped them out, wiped his whole generation out. You know, and don't don't let them be remembered no more. So David just had enough of it. For he did not remember to show kindness, but pursued the poor and needy, and the brokenhearted to put them to death. Um, so these people, you know, they uh, they did not remember to show kindness to people, but they pursued and tried to kill the poor and needy, and the brokenhearted. So that's just, I mean, whoever these people are, they deserve death. To be honest with you, they they deserve to get what. They deserve to get what they de you know to get what they deserve. He loved to curse, let curses come upon him. So, so these people, you know, they, they love to curse. And whether I, you know, that thing it's talking about, and they just they just love to curse at people. May not be cuss words, but they're they're more well, curses being upon these people. So he's saying, you know, he he loved to curse, he let curses come upon him. So so what David's saying is, 
Why don't this guy, or why don't these people uh, curse any other people? Let them curses fall upon him, the one that cursed them. He did not delight in blessing. May it be, may it be far from him. So they were saying, not, not only bless this guy, God. He clothed himself with cursing as his coat. May it soak into his body like water, like oil into his bones. May it be like a garment that he wraps around him, like a belt that he puts on every day. Uh, let's see, may this be the re may this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord, and for those who speak evil against my life. But you, O God, my Lord, is of course Christ, deal on my behalf for your name's sake, because your steadfast love is good to deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is stricken with within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a lo like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt with no fat, and he's, he's become real skinny, David has, because he's, cause he's fasting, and he's just so tired of putting up with these people, of, of accusing him of things that he did not do. I am an object of scorn of, to my accusers. When they see me, they wag their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will be blessed. Let uh, they arise and are put to shame, but your servant will be glad. Um, may my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise them in the midst of my throne. For he stands at the right hand of the new one to save him from those who condemn his soul to death. So that's chapter 109 about help me, help me, O Lord my God. Like I said, basically, his David is just had at least people of accusing him and slandering him and gossiping about him and things that's not even true. And David's had it, and he's, got, he's saying, God just wiped this man out, even his family out. So, it's just the way it goes, man. I mean, that's why you don't accuse people of things. Um, that's not true. Don't slander, don't gossip, because if you do, God will come upon you very quickly like that. He will wipe you out if you don't repent of it. So, 7109. And I'll, I'll be that with chapter 110 here shortly.